Yeah. Simon is now sitting in England. Are you there, Simon? Do we have sound for him? Donna, we're going to be calling you very soon. Hello. Yeah. Hey. Hello, Simon. How are you? Hey. <laughs> Do we, can we get a feed from him? Uh, yeah, are you, are we yes, he's trying to say hello. Hi, Simon. Oh, Dr. Simon, I do apologize. <laughs> all right. Hello, can you see me? We can. We'll all give you a wave, but you couldn't see us. Hold on. I'm fine, thank you. There we are. Here and I can see myself on two screens now. You ready to go? What are you giving us, Simon? Two or seven? Seven. Seven. You ready to begin? Or hold on, we're going to raffle first. Uh, no, let's have a break. Where you go? I am. You ready to go, Simon? Where you go? Right, okay. My name's Simon McLaughlin. Um, I'm a primary school teacher at Hawkeye Primary School in Newcastle at one time. Um, I'm going to talk today about another week in the office. And this is something that I did last week, on uh, not last week, last year. And it was a whole school project um, to encourage writing and to get children writing. So, do you have my details on the screen? Yeah, I do, yeah. Yes, yeah, okay. Right, I'm going to move on. Um, what, we, what we did was that, hold on, I have to take these earphones out because I can hear feedback on myself and it's going to happen to me. So, I won't be able to hear you, but yeah. you should be able to hear me. Uh, what we did was we planned a week around writing to encourage writing to get every child in the school writing and to get them enthusiastic about it. So what we decided to do was to have an alien spaceship crashing in the school. <laughs> so what we ended up doing was getting a parent um, who was very creative to build up a spaceship. Um, it took a lot of planning over the course of the year. It did take pretty much a whole year's worth of planning with me and three other colleagues. Um, this is what the spaceship looks like a few hours before it was actually built. Um, when we got it up in the schoolyard one Sunday afternoon, um, this is what we had and this is what we had to put together. So we had a massive spaceship that with all the components that just had to go together and had to land somehow in the middle of the school later. Um, this is what it looked like once it got home. Um, obviously we, we hit a lot of the things there, but it was the, the idea was that it was as realistic as possible, um, as real as aliens can be really, um, and we wanted to make sure that the children were completely shocked. None of the children knew that this was happening. Staff knew very little about it, and um, there's only a few of the staff who actually knew what was going to happen. The rest of the staff, um, didn't really know very much. So when they arrived into the Monday morning, this is all this, this is what they were greeted with as well. Um, the next morning, this is what happened. Never want to miss an opportunity. Um, I got myself into a boiler suit and got myself a live theater and went and stood in the middle of the spaceship with my foot very subtly on the bottom of the stroke machine, which had been buried underground. The whole cable had been had to be buried the whole way into my classroom. Um, um, we got the police involved, as you can see, and the fire brigade was supposed to come, but unfortunately they had a fire spill out, so weren't able to come. Um, we, when the children arrived, this is what they saw. The police were there, there was smoke coming out of the spaceship, there was a crazy man standing in the middle of it, um, and I had to make up all this story about how the smoke was toxic and had to stay away from it. Um, it was all very, very realistic, um, as we, as, again, as real as it can be. Um, and the idea was to get the children writing. And whether that could be some sort of recount, it could be a newspaper report, it could be something, oh, I've always done that, I'll speak this way this way. Um, <laughs> it could have been any type of text type that, you know, that, that children wanted to use. Um, and a lot of teachers did a lot of that, you know, a range of text types over the course of the week. Um, what, I, I had a slight problem that week in that it was my sister's graduation. 
So I had to go down to Nottingham for a day on the second day. Um, so what I decided to do in a moment of rare inspiration on Sunday morning was I thought, man, I'll just leave a hostage video for them. And I left the hostage video, and this is what happened on Sunday morning. I set up my living room with my camera and my laptop, a lamp turned over with the red pillow case over the top of it, another lamp with the red pillow case, and a blanket hung over an iron board. And that created my alien spaceship. Um, that really was my big, my big contribution to the week, and I wanted the children to be really enthused and to write for a purpose. So, this is what I left for them, and this is my subtle message to whoever is there. Can you please press play on the video that should go to the video? I don't know if my ear comes out. Thanks, 
Simon McLaughlin from Newcastle on Tyne, who originally obviously from Northern Ireland, but wanted to be part of the first Teach Me Belfast and was determined to be here tonight one way or another. So we're delighted that we were able to host them via uh, Illuminate tonight, um, uh, which is something we're going to stop in that we saw. Let's